Hi and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you how you can use the perspective warp to enlarge an objects in your image and I want to show you this trick with the help of this image. So I shot this picture with a wide angle lens with a river in the foreground and waterfall in the background. The only problem is because I use the wide angle lens the waterfall in the back appears to be smaller as it is in reality. And to fix that I'm going to use the perspective warp. So I have my background layer which I want to duplicate just in case I mess something up. And with the new layer selected I go to edit and I'm choosing perspective warp. And what you can do now is you can drag a rectangle around the object you want to enlarge. So in this case I'm going to create one around the waterfall. And as you can see in the top left corner right now I'm in the layout mode. If I'm switching over to warp, I can drag the corners of the rectangle to change the perspective. Of course, that's not what I want to achieve with this trick, but don't worry, I'm going back to the layout mode first. Now to be able to make this waterfall bigger, I have to drag a lot of rectangles around the first rectangle. And as you will notice, lines close to each other will kind of snap together as you would just uh, have seen. So I just keep creating all the rectangles over the whole image. This is quite important for this method to work. And if those lines won't snap together, then you can just drag the pin in the corner and drag it over another pin. Okay, and once you have set up the grid, you just need to go to the warp mode again. And once in warp mode, you can drag uh, the points around so you can enlarge an object in your image. So this is pretty straightforward. And you can also see the foreground isn't changing much. Also, if you want to keep lines straight, you can hold down shift and click on the line. Okay, and once you're done with this, you just hit enter. And as you can see in the before and after, the perspective warp tool works quite good. So I hope this video was understandable. And if you like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.